What's going on, Mush fam? This is Alex Storr coming at you live from Mushroom Revival headquarters. And this YouTube video is all about bringing you into the world of mushrooms. So today we have an exciting cultivation video. We're gonna talk about how to go from Petri to Petri. This is a basic lab skill technique that I think every mushroom grower needs to learn um, so we're gonna go into the ins and outs of how to go from one Petri plate to another. Um, check out our other videos on how to make Petri plates, how to pour them. Um, we're gonna have another one coming out on how to build your own lab um, from low tech to high tech. And as always, hit the subscribe button, um, plug in your comments, any suggestions, any questions. Um, you know, if you want us to record a, a video of your choice that you really want to learn, that you're really pumped about, please put it in the comment section. Like, share with your friends. And as always, may the sports be with you. And stay tuned, stay shroom for new videos. Um, so let's get into it. Um, so the last video, one of the last videos, we talked about how to make agar. Um, this is an agar agar nutrient dish. Um, and this is what a lot of microbiologists or mycologists use to grow their mycelium, um, which is the root structure of a fungus or, a, um, or of a mushroom. So this is a fully colonized petri plate and all the mycelium is colonizing out. If we want to expand this, um, if we want to give the mycelium more food, more red carpet to run, we'll just transfer it to another petri plate. Now these are sealed with parafilm, so they're totally sterile um, viewing portals where you can watch the mycelium grow and do its thing. This is really fun for microremediation experiments where you can drop a little piece of oil, you can drop a little piece of contaminant, and this is just a little TV, way better than a normal TV. You can just see right through the top and watch the mycelium live its life. Um, it's really fun. And so in this episode, we're just gonna talk about how to take mycelium from one dish to another. We're gonna have a lot more videos on how to clone you know, wild mushrooms, how to take spore prints um, onto agar, um, especially for Cordyceps militaris, but for you know, a wide range of other mushrooms as well. So let's jump in the lab and let's see how it's done. Um, if you want to follow along, you can download my free ebook, Microremediation Handbook, A Grassroots Guide to Growing Mushrooms and Cleaning Up Toxic Waste with Fungi. Um, you can download this ebook for free off my website, www.mushroom-revival.com. If you go in the resources tab, you can click the ebook and you just plug in your email. You can get it sent to you for free. You can download it. Um, and if you go to page 156, you can see, um, I have some diagrams so you can follow along on your computer while you're watching this video and have this ebook to, to reference um, over and over again or feel free to watch this video over and over again, whichever suits you. Um, and there's lots of other great information in the book as well. So head over to the website, www.mushroom-revival.com and download that book. Let's jump in the lab. What's up everyone? So we're in the lab now. Um, we're all suited up. Uh, I'm wearing a Tyvek suit. We got the gloves on. I have my face mask. Um, when I'm about to work, I'm gonna put the face back, back on, but just for the purpose of talking to you, I'm gonna keep it down. Um, so first things first, we need to gather our supplies, what we will need for Petri to Petri. Um, so obviously we're gonna need um, blank petri plates. These have already been pre-poured and they have parafilm around them um, and we need the culture that we're going to put onto these new plates um, to take the, the mycelium from this plate to this plate we need a scalpel and to seal the plates back up we need pre-cut parafilm um, and this sharpie is just to label the plates when we're done um, we need isopropyl alcohol in this spray bottle. I'm using 70%. Um, 
how isopropyl alcohol works is 70% allows um, for suffocation of cell walls. And while it's evaporating very slowly, it, it shatters the cell walls and kills any microorganisms. Um, I use 95% for an alcohol burner, so an alcohol lamp. Um, you can e either use one of these to sterilize your scalpel or you can use a back to incinerator. So we're gonna use one of these. You can see it's red hot. This will sterilize your tool really, really quickly. Um, so I'm gonna take that out for now. And so first things first, when you're working in the lab, you wanna spray down the surface of everything with this alcohol, spray down your hands. And we're working in front of a HEPA filter, so this is blowing sterile air in front of the workspace. Um, I'm using this dis, dis, uh, dish drying rack, um, which you can pick up for a couple bucks at Walmart. This just raises your work area and gets you in the line of sterile air. Um, it works really well for me and it's really easy to sterilize and clean. So once your hands are totally sterile, you want to take off the parafilm. So just remove this parafilm. And keep the keep it really closed. So take it off both dishes. And you want to throw your tool in the back to incinerator or if you have an alcohol lamp. Um, Ideally, you want it red hot um, or, or an orange color, and this just means that it's totally sterile. So as you can see, this is, this is orange. Um, you want to take the plate that is blank, and you want to cool your scalpel down in the dish. You might hear a sizzle. That means it's just cooling down. Once you cool down your scalpel, you want to go to the, the leading edge of the mycelium, just the edge of the dish. Um, I like to use this, this top to hold down the bottom. Um, and then I'll just cut a little square or a little triangle. And it can be very, very small. I'm just going to scoop that out. So as you can see, it's a very, very small piece. I just drop that in there, and that's it. So the moves are, are very, very quick, easy, smooth, and it just takes practice and you'll get it down. The next step is, is just uh, sealing these plates up. So um, I like to rip the paper and the parafilm and then it makes it really easy to separate the paper from the actual parafilm. Um, I use the side of the parafilm that has been facing the paper and I put that to the inside of the petri plate. I use my index finger to hold the parafilm down while I stretch it with my other hand and then choke up on it, hold it down with my index finger, drag it, press it down, drag it, there you go. You got a sealed Petri plate, totally sterile, and we can label it. So for labeling the Petri plate, I like to put it into four different quadrants. Um, the culture name at the top, so this was Cordy Kong, we're just gonna name it CK. In the right hand corner, um, the Petri plate that I was taking it from was a P3. Um, since I transferred it to here, it's a P4. It just goes up a number depending of how many Petri plates you're transferring. Um, the date is 221, 19. And then the ingredient abbreviation uh, for the, the agar, so what formula? This was malt extract agar, so I'm just gonna put MEA. And if you're working in a lab with a lot of people, you can even put your initials somewhere. But that's the dish. 
Um, we're gonna put it in our dark room because this is Cordyceps militaris, but if you're working with any other mushroom, um, just keep it in your lab space, somewhere sterile. Um, a lot of people like to put it in a Ziploc bag. That's a great place for Petri plates, um, but it has the parafilm around it, so it should stay um, pretty clean. One thing to look out for is small little holes in the, the parafilm. Um, so that's why a lot of people put it in a Ziploc bag to keep it safe. So that's Petri to Petri, really easy. Um, we're gonna come up with a lot of different videos um, from you know taking spore prints on agar, cloning a wild mushroom, um, and different lab skills, taking from Petri to liquid culture, um, and various different techniques. Um, if you want to follow along, if you're a reader, uh, go to page 156 in my ebook. Um, go to www.mushroom-revival.com and download that book. Thanks, everyone. So that wraps up this week's video on Petri to Petri. Um, as always, stay tuned, stay shroomed and hit that subscribe button if you liked what you saw hit the like button um, comment what you thought if you want you know if you have any ideas for upcoming videos that you really want us to record put it in the comment section and head over to our website www.mushroom-revival.com and head over to uh, the shop resources and download this free ebook it's free why not and um, check out the Petri to Petri, check out how to make your own Petri, and lots more. Um, it's, it's like 225 pages, packed full of information. Um, go, go ahead there and download that. Um, and share this video with friends, you know, share it with coworkers, share it with family members, anything. Um, and stay curious, stay, Shroomed. Much love, everyone.